Hello and welcome to another episode of my Facts and Glitches series, where I showcase some more of what I've learned about GTA 5 in my over 7600 hours of speedrunning experience and from my awesome viewers. Taking an escort to the train tracks can be quite amusing. Come on, baby. On Trevor's side mission in the last act, he is meant to drive a celebrity away and then either kill him or set him free. It turns out this side mission can be completed far more easily than the game lets on. Or you can send him on the kind of trip he won't come back from. Oh, a trip! Such fun! Al is in the boot of the car. You'd be doing us such a favor. I'm really not one for goodbye. When you go to play a game of golf, you can challenge other NPCs, and the game does not restrict you from performing unsportsmanlike behavior. There is a strange animation when you attempt to get into a golf cart while on top of it. Sometimes when you switch to Trevor, he is being pursued by the police. For whatever reason, these police do not have any guns, although additional police that show up will be armed. If the mission Mr. Richards is spawned, you can use the out of bounds of the movie studio to activate the mission and fall off the map. I am not sure why anyone would do this intentionally, but it will make you stuck and unable to do anything until you restart. At this location there is a power box that says it has 1.21 gigawatts of electricity. This of course does not make sense for a power box to have, but it does make sense as a reference to Back to the Future. But I need a nuclear reaction to, to generate the 1.21 gigawatts of electricity. 1.21 gigawatts! 1.21 gigawatts! Great Scott! You can start a water fight with NPCs that are in a fire truck. You may have missed the handful of references that tell you where Lamar lives in the game. This is Franklin's first safe house, and Lamar lives a few houses up. The most overt reference is done on the mission shop, as this is where it leads you after you kidnap D. We're gonna stash this dude in my spot. We going back to your crib? I've been there when you was in diapers. It is possible to get inside the FIB building at any point in the game by running up on the glass and switching characters. Please note that this only works if the character you switch to has some sort of animation before you take control. Just like when you break in here for real, you can blow up the communications door. Regardless of what point in time you access this building, it will still look like it does on the Firefighter Bureau Raid, except the elevator won't be there.
The truck Michael uses to chase after the tennis pro in the Mission Marriage Counseling is from McGill Olsen Construction. Michael claims it just belongs to someone who is working on his house, but it is possible that this person was working for the FIB to keep an eye on Michael. At the end of the Mission 3's company, a McGill Olsen construction vehicle is used to take Mr. K. There are also more vehicles from other maintenance companies in the lot that are also being used by the FIB. This could of course just be coincidence. The guy working for Michael could have just been an ordinary construction worker, but we do know that McGill Olsen and other maintenance vehicles are used by the FIB. If a fire is started on the train, the train driver will jump out. The train of course will still continue because it won't decelerate unless the driver says so. There is not one, not two, but three different books in Franklin's house called Red Dead by Jay Marston. Half-Life 3 confirms, I mean Red Dead 3 confirms? All cars don't have foot pedals. For example, while Trevor's car does have them, Franklin and Michael's cars do not. The neon lights on these signs reflect strangely on the glass across the streets. There is a special message on the back of the Ludendorff sign in Prologue. It is possible for the game to mission fail during a cutscene. The only way I know how to do this consistently is to park a blimp on top of cleaning out the bureau. What's going on? Oh, just enjoying a little labor dispute. You were about to do something really, really bad. So I need to present myself as a proper textile magnet. So, so you stop making anything? The cutscene will play on, and small little bits of the blimp will be seen throughout. Fuck it, Trevor. We're having some problems. Brad. You can of course just skip through the cutscene and continue the mission like normal. On some occasions the blimp doesn't explode, and that is also fairly funny. So you stop making anything? Nothing looks more- Some oddities occur if you use a bus during the mission reuniting the family. There they are, outside. Baby and two. Oh, what a treat. Neutral ground. Dr. Friedlander's office. Wait, 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 but what about that sugar, caffeine, and emulsified pig fat flavored beverage I want? Another time. Oh, come on. Well, one, one, two. Later. I think Tracy's over at the tattoo parlor. I'm not sure to what degree you'll be able to hear it, but any character in the bus will sound like they're very far away despite being only about a foot from Michael. Literally, like Vivian, around the head with the laptop? Oh yeah, like ow! Our old man released- At each part of the mission, it is possible to softlock when you get onto the bus. Your family won't be able to find their way on, and the game won't let you do anything until they do. If you manage to get to the end of the mission, you create yourself a disconnect between the character's movements and the cutscene. Kids? Rooms. If you find dead bodies, cheap women, or Trevor Phillips, we're checking into the Rockford Hills Hotel. Despite that nothing happens in the Pacific Standard Bank, it is fully accessible in single player. Man, do you hear? The bank vault can be opened with any explosive.
On the mission card Libre, you can prevent Trevor from driving off in his truck by standing on the back of it. More amusingly, Trevor has 40 separate voice lines to insult Michael. Did you lose a very big bet? Ain't you got a ride, scumbag? You make me want a lobotomy. Leave it alone, aight? Listen, nobody likes you. You are an idiot! You're a waste of space on this earth. Get your own. I've trodden shits with more brains. You asshole! You look like you struggle with simple tasks. Moron. You chump! Oh, you give me hives. How are you allowed to walk the streets, moron? You're a total moron. You are an asshole! You dumbass! You pile of sick! Oh, you really suck! Brainless fool! Turd! You hideous mistake! You depressing afterthought! Idiot! You are utterly ridiculous! Idiot! You make me want to emigrate! Why, oh why do you exist? Twat! Fool! You fool! Listen, even your parents can't stand you! Why hasn't someone sensible shot you yet? You make me want a lobotomy! Listen, nobody likes you. You are such an ass! I've trodden shits with more brains. You puddle of vomit! Why, oh why weren't you drowned at birth? And on that strange note, that is the end of the episode. Thank you for watching. If you want to enter into my cash giveaway down below, feel free. And if you like the video, I'd appreciate it if you press like. I hope you're all doing well.